I literally just got a text from my new support man, uh, Alex Maddox. He's in the middle of a storm and he can't get on. <laughs> but I, so I do have a couple other things I'd like to say tonight. Um, one is uh, we are customer support. Um, the man I man I hired is is wonderful. I just put him through a, a two week training. He's he's this close to being able to do almost everything I can do, um, and uh, he's he's going to be great tonight or tonight the rest of our Vima life. I hope. <laughs> um, I did want to say because we are support. Um, this Zoom call tonight is not for the support questions. Um, if you have questions after the call, please get a hold of us uh, instead of uh, asking on the show tonight, okay? I call it the show, it's a great show. A um, Couple other quick things. Uh, okay, as most of you know, our Thursday Zoom calls are trainings and update calls, okay? We do a little training tonight, we give you some updates. We also have our Canadian group that does a wonderful show for new recruits. Um, if you want to bring on a new recruit at 9 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday, except Thursdays, um, that's a great place to bring the, uh, the new recruits. And that's the same Zoom channel, same bat time, okay? So just, just um, use, up, Derek, use that. Derek, sorry to disturb you. Our yeah. time is 8, 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Oh, he changed 8 p.m. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Leroy. That was Leroy, the leader of the Canadian group. And, and they do a w marvelous show. I've had a couple of people tell me uh, how well they do uh, for the new recruits. So please pop in at 8 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, also, okay, so here's the big one. I've had a, I had another person today tell me that I'm the face of the company. And I, yeah, I get a big head and, and it just, it drives me nuts, so, okay? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I'm not the face of the company, you guys. I'm just a, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm just a employee. I get paid an hourly wage and I'm here to help all of you, okay? Um, I do wanna share a couple faces of the company with you though, however. A couple faces you might not have seen yet. I was able to pull these out of the archives um, because, well, as you know, uh, we have uh, one man who spends so much time that if he wasn't here with us, we would not have Bima. This guy spends so much time. This guy is, has three computers in his office. I, I see his floppy disk on his floors. This man I want to introduce to you tonight, so you have a face for him. His name is Tommy. This is Tommy. He works really hard behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> <He's> got, <laughs> he has his three computers here, his floppy disk. He's a happy man. Look at him. Wow. Tommy is amazing. Okay. I want you all to meet Tommy. I tell you what, Tommy works so hard, I'm afraid to contact him. Uh, just because I don't want to interrupt what he's doing. I'm on um, video right now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> is that you? Oh, is that you? Oh, oh, my yes. oh, my gosh. The first. Open it's it like, up. It's like I want to see you again. Speak for is us, this, Tommy. This, Speak for us. Is this the Derek Comedy Hour tonight? I know. Uh, yes. it is. Wow, Tommy. There's uh, Tommy. So handsome. There is. Good deal. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Woo! This is the yeah. first time I've ever met Tommy. It's, yeah, I'll tell you right now. Like, uh, wow. normally, I'm, normally I'm wearing colored shirts, but uh, tonight is uh, a little late. <laughs> One, oh man, this is really this is a great honor. See, see what this does for us. Um, we we are just you and me. Look at Tommy and I. We're just wearing t-shirts. Uh, my shirt is 15 years old. It's my daughter's basketball shirt. We're all here together as one. We're all, we're all working together. And remember you guys, we take 80% of what we do today, 
We're gonna pay out tomorrow to everyone with web clicks, okay? The more web clicks you have, the more we're all gonna earn, all right? So let's get people in the shopping mall. Let's go shopping. We're gonna fill up that marketplace to go shopping. Um, those are outside revenue income streams, okay? The more we get, the more we all earn in web clicks. I have one more face I need to share with you today. This man worked so hard that last week we decided to call him the one minute man. You know why we call him the one minute man is because he never has time for me. He says, Derek, I just got one minute. And I said, okay. Well, I got a hold of his wife today and she sent a wonderful picture of him. He doesn't know it yet, but I need to show this to you. This folks is David Mead. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> In the shower, thanks. <laughs> he Derek, works so hard, he's always working in the shower. Okay. Eric, I don't think it's very cool that you put oh, white boy. and one and all in the same sentence. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey back, brother. <laughs> Listen, you guys, if we can't have fun with this, why are we in this business, okay? I mean, exactly. really. We... um. I, I, I'm working 50, 60 hours a week. My wife's wondering why I work so hard. Um, and, and I know a lot of us are, we might be alienating our spouses a little bit. Um, they, they might not see the dream that we see. And, um, but, but this is gonna happen and I'm seeing it happen. So let's make it happen, okay? Um, I'm, I'm sorry Alex wasn't able to show up tonight. I uh, hear we have a security person on tonight. Um, so as far as, as far as support goes with security, I, I just want to mention a qu couple quick things. I'm getting a lot of people uh, emailing me, calling me, asking me if I can change the email or password of other members. I, I can't do that, folks. Um, if, if, if a member wants their email or password change, they need to call me or they need to email me, okay? Um, we, we, ha we have to go that route uh, for security purposes. Uh, I just had someone today ask, tell me to uh, change the position of another person. <laughs> this person was not, was not uh, their sponsor and it wasn't that person, you know? And so they need to contact us, whoever wants to be moved or deleted from the system for some reason, okay? So um, with that, um, I think I, I shared it all. This is no longer Tommy. We've all just seen Tommy, but this is still David Mead. This is still David Mead. Okay. All right. Take back, buddy. In need of mead. Oh. That's right. That's right. Need of mead. All right. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, Derek. <laughs> oh, that information was nothing but golden. I loved it all. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, we will continue on. Our first speaker has a lot of phenomenal information always. Seriously, every time he talks, um, you're gonna learn something from this guy, whether it's, or it's for your own personal life, but in this case, especially having to do with Vima, um, he, he knows what he's talking about. He's one of our prolific trainers. You will find him in the Knowledge Vault because he does have a ton of knowledge. So at this point, I'll turn this all over to Dr. Jim, the Dr. Jim. Go ahead, Jim. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thanks, Derek. Great job as always. And uh, we do have a great family and a great team. And uh, uh, the gentleman that I, I'm gonna introduce to tonight, uh, the first one is gonna be Jason Rogers. And Jason is a, a, a very close friend of ours. Uh, and we have been very proud of uh, introducing him to Andy, and he has done a wonderful job so far of looking at the security and making sure that the uh, websites that might be placed up on the web viewer are not going to have Trojans or, or nefarious viruses and things that um, is so vital to all of us. And uh, Jason's got a very interesting background. He was an Oklahoma Highway Patrolman. Uh, he knows how to put handcuffs on people. He was also a, a, a local a police officer. Um, he is uh, currently working as an engineer 
on the railroad with BSFN. And uh, the other thing that he has uh, been very accomplished with, and, and I'll let him share with you, he's a black belt in, in IT security, uh, level three, and uh, he, he knows his stuff and he's been able to help us and, and protect us. And uh, he's got some new information. And after he uh, chats for a few minutes, we'll open it up for one or two questions. And then at the end of the uh, session this evening, if anybody has any other uh, questions, feel free to ask him or Mark Dubner is gonna be on after him. And uh, we'll open it up after Mark for one or two questions. And then again, I think Andy's probably gonna come on and, and share some thoughts. And, and then we'll have time for the questions afterwards. And uh, we will be uh, setting up some emails for Jason and for Mark so that you all can contact uh, each of them anytime that you need to and want to. And uh, we're all here to help and support you. With that said, Jason, um, appreciate you being on this evening and please fill in the gaps that I uh, may have uh, missed. And, and uh, But here's Jason Rogers. All right, well, thank you. Uh, started off network security for ConocoPhillips after getting my degree in computer programming. So that's where I learned all the ins and outs of it. Uh, was their network admin for several years and pursued a career in law enforcement after that actually going after cyber criminals. But my background went into then retracing criminals over the internet, tracking them down and meeting them face to face, which was the reward. Uh, so on Vima now, what we've done is we've implemented new software to scan for people that are doing uh, nefarious things on our website. And so far we found two recently that were trying to place Trojans to steal information. And then the following day, we found, had two more. So to help us find it a little quicker, we've uh, implemented some IBM software that's pretty much cutting edge on uh, tracking IPs and keeping track of people that do bad things. So now, if, now when they get on, it makes things considerably quicker. Not only instead of finding them within a couple of minutes, we find them within seconds, if not even faster as soon as they log on. And uh, now we'll be able to actually trace them back to where they're coming from. So now it won't be just stopping them, it will be stopping them and then pursuing them. And uh, the way that usually goes is once you make a reputation of someone that not only just stops the traffic, but actually does something about it afterwards, it usually spreads in the community pretty quick, especially in small groups that target people. So right now our biggest thing is to secure Beam itself, and then the websites that you look at and view it yourself, uh, going through the uh, sweepstakes, that all of those that you look at are safe and aren't going to infect your computer. But just by coming to the website itself, uh, we can notify you if there's an issue. If for some reason you have a, a virus or something that comes from your location, we'll let you know well, how to hopefully fix it. That's the gist of what we have now. The new software we have is by IBM. So it's top notch right now. Thank you, Jason. Absolutely. Man, that's really cool. Yeah, it, it, and it makes everybody more secure just browsing the web, website too. One of the, the viruses we found actually came in as a piggyback off somebody that didn't even know that they had it. So. Wow. We have a couple other ideas we're going to roll out later and we'll have more also. Wow. So just to let everyone know, this is Tommy here. And, uh, you know, any of these Trojan viruses, we're, we are going to do our best to protect everyone that's a part of this. I, I want to call it a family, you know, uh, get everyone uh, completely secure uh, and just keep making money. Absolutely. Hey, I got one thing to say. Something just happened today. I'm glad you on this topic. I was in a, the shopping mall and I had to purchase a ticket. I went to cheapo.com. And when I clicked there, it took me to a Chinese website. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So Ooh. what I did, I got out of 
the Chrome browser and I went to Waterfox and I was able to get on cheapo, easy. But every time I go back to my, my Vima and try to do it there, it would, I would see a cheapo uh, come up, but quickly in two seconds, this other website in Chinese came on. So I don't know, I meant to send that to you today, Derek, to check that out. If it's just probably my computer that got a Trojan, or is it with the my Vima more? So this is a good topic for tonight. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, that that came out of the shopping mall, not not the shopping, not no, the shopping viewer. The mall itself, where it says travel. You know, when you go to travel and you see all yeah. the different ones to pick. So I was picking cheapo. So just just remember, folks, that in the shopping mall they have their own division there. They have their own crew, uh, just like we have Tommy and Dave and, and Andy and Jim and Mike, they have their people and Jason. They have their own help. Yes. Section. And so uh, contact their help section and uh, for something like that. And that their help is like my support and um, on that side of the country there. Hey, Marlon, uh, any type of issues like that though, we need to be aware of just to make sure that, you know, we can spread the word. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry right I didn't get back early with you guys. I got busy, but that it was, um, I knew the meeting was coming on tonight. So that's why I mentioned it. <laughs> but yes, oh, I will, uh, Tommy, right away. Depot, you yeah. said it was? Uh, Jason? Yes. Can you address that, what uh, happened there? I'm looking at it right now. If it's a redirect from our website or if it's coming off of his computer as a pop-up. But he said it was on Cheapo was the web, the link. Correct, Jason. Correct, cheapo. Because you got one with cheap, and then you got the cheapo one, cheapo air. Thank you, okay. sir. I appreciate it. It's, it's not doing it on mine right now, so I'm going to assume that it's a redirect on your computer. Yes. Okay. Do you have an antivirus? That would be. My uh, no, no, no. I, 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 I downloaded one today. Could you recommend a good one that I could bit, use? Bit defender is going to be your best bet. Defender. Price Bit Defender is the name okay. of the web, is the name of the antivirus, and uh, it performs better than any other, and it's reasonably priced also, usually about forty bucks. Thank you, Jason. Uh, just real quick, uh, maybe it should, this should be a side note, but uh, what do you, how are your feelings about a vast? It's it's good. The only issue is it's a reactive software, so it, it scans and compares previous readings so once you have an issue it's not an active the only two that i know that are that are pretty much top notch that are live streaming are bit defender and panda and uh, panda is panda is really good the only issue with it is it's very demanding on your computer it Thank uses you. a lot of resources yeah no problem man oh uh, yes um i got um bit defender on my computer and um, I just had to purchase my, um, I had it free for 30 days and I um, had to purchase my subscription and it was like um, 36, I think $36 for the whole year. And it, it works fantastic. It's great software and it doesn't bog down your computer. Yeah, I got, I got it on my iPhone too. Yeah, absolutely. And when you purchase That's the one, you get- FIT Fit Defender, FIT. It's uh, B-I-T. It's a bit like a computer bit. Thank you. Uh huh. And then also, if you're in a group, if one purchase, one person purchases it, you get five copies. Yes, that's wonderful. Dave, uh, Andy, uh, Jason, might, this yes. might be something we can talk to the. Uh, you might want to tell about the person that you turned over to the authorities, just kind of skim on that just a minute. Uh, I will. So last night, uh, or the previous night, we had someone attempt to put on a low-grade Trojan, and they didn't quite have the knowledge on how to use it, so we, they didn't have any kind of VPN or any kind of protection to keep their ID identity secret, so we were able to track them back with me and an admin, uh, ISP admin, and uh, I think they're actually going to prosecute now. So, and they were able to trace them back to a Texas address. I haven't had any updates on it yet, but I have all the information that we for us to turn over to prosecute. And uh, it's it's rare to have someone stateside that doesn't 
do a good job of concealing their identity. So uh, that's one person's probably not having a good night tonight. Good. <laughs> in word, good. I'm glad. Yes, exactly. And what's nice is we have a lot of help in this field because any kind of internet provider that has someone that's placing things like that on the network, it, it drags down their nodes, their resources. So anytime that you, you submit a ticket with evidence and information on that, they're, they're so quick to react. Um, two of them, even Microsoft helps real readily if I send an email off to them. They'll, they'll use a lot of support tools that I don't have access to even and uh, can help us really quickly. I, I get response usually within five or 10 minutes of submitting a ticket for something. Wow. And they'll they uh, eliminate them from there. Yeah, yes. Uh, the internet provider that they use, as soon as you submit evidence of, of uh, putting any kind of Trojan or malicious malware or anything on, a, on their site viciously, um, if they can't support evidence that they're doing it for an educational purpose, so if they're not a .org or .com or .gov, uh, their ISP pulls them immediately. So their modem just shows that they don't have internet. So in the morning, they can call and state their case, but overnight, they no longer have internet. And we just want the people to know that, that we will prosecute uh, oh, the ones that uh, try to put uh, Trojans uh, or any kind of virus like that on our, our website. Right, and the, the good thing for us is it's no burden to the web, us as FEMA, to uh, do it, it, the state prosecutes everything and the internet providers will put the bill for chasing them down and any kind of prosecution that's involved. That's not even thing, we, we just submit evidence and a claim and then they take care of the rest. Good. So it really doesn't even bog us down or cost us any resources, it actually saves us. Okay, right. And if they're found guilty, any damages that we can occur in there or show that we did, uh, they have to uh, give us reciprocity on it. And it protects oh, our people. Great to hear. This yes, is really it, great to hear. it protects our people also. Oh. Well, that, that's what we're working towards. And uh, uh, Jason has done a tremendous job for us. And this software package that we have now, uh, understand that uh, Walmart and all the big companies like that, they have it. And uh, so we feel like that we uh, are pretty well... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the IBM software that we have now is is state of the art. I mean, uh, regardless of company size, this is pinnacle for a software. I mean, the, the, when this software was designed, it was designed to replace me. So uh, it finds the problem and does its very best in about 98% of the situations to remedy it. And uh, very rarely do I have to go in and tell it what it did was incorrect and change. And so far, just running it for the last, uh, what's three and a half hours, it's discovered about four errors and fixed them. And they were all minor, but it saves me from going in and click, you know, block ISP or do this, do that. It, it has it built in. That's okay. Boring. All right, folks. Well, we better move on. It's getting right. kind of late, and we appreciate uh, Jason coming on. Absolutely. Thank you, Jason. Jason. Appreciate Jason, I got two much. words for you, and I'm sure everybody would agree with me. Thank you. You're and very welcome. Wow, that's that's yeah. wonderful, wonderful news. It just it we're all aware of of cyber crimes and and viruses and stuff, and I'm sure we all and everybody here's probably dealt with something like that at one time or another. It just it just ruins life. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Our next speaker uh, deals primarily or solely with compliance, which is something that we all need to be aware of, that we all uh, are responsible for. And this, our next speaker is gonna hit up on a little bit more of what that truly means. Mark, take it away. Mark, are you here? Mute. Okay, now is that good? Yes, yay. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hey, <laughs> <Glad you're here. laughs> hello. Looks like so you had snow so, back there, Mark. Yeah, that's the picture outside my back door. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's very nice to look at, and it's been great for me that I've never lost power or uh, 
water or any of those things have happened to a lot of other folks in Texas. Um, even two of my uh, employees had, who are within five blocks of five minutes of me have have lost their power and their and or their water, and it's just been a mess. But uh, it's it's nice to look at. You don't have to go out in it. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk tonight about compliance. It's it's my favorite topic because it is so important to the company. Um, compliance is going to be um, one of the bedrock posts, if you will, that the company will be built on um, to be sure that we don't have any regulatory um, inquiries about, about the company. Um, in my 30 years of praxis, um, I've, I've, I've helped a lot of companies raise money and you know we do that through private placement memoranda. And it's so interesting that um, we have uh, every eventuality that we can think of where the, the investment capital will probably not be returned to the investor, you know, where the company will fail, where the company won't be able to make enough money to return the investment, where there won't be any dividends, where there's no opportunity for the person to be able to recoup what they have put in. And that's, that's hard earned money. And I've had lots of folks who will put in a hundred thousand dollars in a, in a startup business. And, and they do that in spite of what everything is written, which we have to really understand that we can explain the negatives. We can explain the risk. We can explain all the potential downside. And yet, if the if people believe in us, if they believe in you, the, the person that's introducing them to the company to become an associate, they're still, <clears throat> They are still going to do, you know, still going to become part of the company. So I don't want anybody to be concerned about uh, following compliance rules because the compliance really helps all of us, especially it protects the company. And we have a fiduciary duty. Each one of us has a fiduciary duty to the company to be sure that it's going to be successful. You know, we have a we have wonderful guiding principles, um, one of which that I always express to people is that commercial speech is highly regulated speech. <clears throat> you cannot claim that you have a First Amendment free speech right when it comes to commercial speech. Some of you know about uh, uh, what I've said before. I was uh, um, partnering in a business that an MBA started, and he was a a professor at a college and a smart guy and and uh, but he never could understand that commercial speech is highly regulated speech. He kept uh, offering guarantees for outcomes of the the participation in the company for being a representative and that kind of thing. And I had to leave that organization because he wouldn't change, you know. In this situation where I'm one of the compliance attorneys for the company, it's going to be different. Um, folks that are associates who don't follow the rules and the guidelines of the company, they will be the ones who will leave. You know, they, they, they are got, they're not going to remain with the company. And I'm very serious about monitoring and being on top of that. Um, as Jim mentioned earlier, we're going to, I'm going to have a, uh, an email so that people can get in touch with me if they have any questions about what they can and cannot say. So I'm going to talk about next um, that BEMA has an excellent code of ethics. It's amazing. Uh, and I want everybody to be sure that they read these code of ethics. You'll find them on your back office at the bottom of the page, you can click on statement of policies and procedures. Uh, the code of ethics is the first document and it's simply essential reading for all associates. I love the way it began. I love, I love the whole way it's drafted. The, 
every expression of it. But I really like the way it begins, which is that under 1.1, 1 .1, Vima is a values-based company, a values-based company. Every Vima associate is expected to, to practice ethical behavior. Uh, you know, we all intend to be ethical, but we have to actually be ethical when we're expressing to um, consumers the potential for the opportunity. We don't want regulators to deem our expressions to be non-compliant with either the code of ethics or the law. And it's really pretty simple to do whenever you're uh, explaining the business opportunity, which is be completely truthful, give a full expression, don't leave anything out that would cause the listener to be misled about the opportunity or you know what they can expect. Um, and I know that for everybody who's ever built a downline or invited other people in or attempted to be that magnetic individual to bring people to them. I know that this is really difficult because nobody gets what we're saying the first time out. You know, the first time they hear this, if they're not familiar with the opportunity, they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna understand it. They're gonna hear something different than what we say. But if we practice and practice and practice a uniform way of expressing what the opportunity is, then we will at least have that that we can fall back on and say, I always say X. You know, they may have heard Y, but I say X. I'll run through a little bit of this. I won't do the whole presentation now, but I want to point out that we do have a web policy. So if you're using a website to, um, to, 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 assist in, in, the, in the building of your own business, you need to have VEMA approval. That is a requirement. You cannot put up your own website and assume that you have a compliant website. You need to submit that to us beforehand. Um, I'm going to go a little bit ahead and get to Disciplinary sanctions uh, is under 9.1 of how to build the business. And it, and it allows for uh, a warning to an individual. Uh, it will require the associate to take immediate corrective action. Mm -hmm. It can impose a fine. It can require loss of rights to bonus and commission checks. It can involves suspension of the individual's agreement for one or more pay periods and involuntary termination. So the thing that attracted me to this company as an attorney was that it has these strong ethics. It has this, um, every, everything is prepared, written out. All you have to do is look at it, read it, ask me questions if you don't understand it. And it has protections in there for all of us associates. It, it has a non-disparagement clause. It has a reporting policy violations clause so that if we see other people who are disparaging anybody uh, or the company to, to provide us with information about that. And that's the way I want to finish up is to tell everyone that they can help me a whole lot if they see anything that would concern them as being a non-compliant uh, representation of an associate uh, for the company. So let me know if, if, if you find any of those things and I'm always here to answer your questions. So, so I, will, I will wrap it up and, and ask for questions now. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Mark, I got a question. I'll start the questions. 
Okay. Does anyone else have a question for Mark? <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Hey, hey, hey Mark, uh, about a month or two ago, we, we had a little list of some things we can and cannot say uh, when we introduce the program to other uh, members or potential members. Can you throw out a couple of them words that we should not be talking about? Yes. Um, the most egregious are those, those uh, you'll see websites um, that uh, say you can fire your boss, you can work from home uh, in four months, you, you'll, you can quit your job. You know, all those things are guarantees that guarantee that a regulatory agency is going to look at what you're saying and why you're saying that. Because even a truthful uh, the showing of your earnings in your back office will be deemed by regulatory authorities to be misleading unless you go through a whole disclaimer that we're working on putting together. We've got a nice one up now. We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ramp that up and put a little bit more on, on steroids. But it's just, you know, we can't even use our own earnings. Truthful, honest, complete representation of our own earnings, because even somebody who comes along and tries to do the same thing exactly as we explain it and say, here's the cookie cutter model, you do these things, and you should be where I am today. And we can't say that because other people won't have the same charisma or talent or whatever it takes, like you were saying, Mike, to work 50, 60 hours a week. A lot of people aren't going to do that. Most people are not going to do that. Right. And and on that subject, I, I get a lot of people, I mean, they'll call me and go, hey, I, I only made this much today. Or, wow, this is more than I thought. And, and they ask why. And I, I just have to remind them, everything that happens today reflects to how we pay out tomorrow. And we can't predict the future. We can't predict what we're going to do tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. so... Uh, uh -huh that's about where we stand i think <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and i thought i'm sorry go ahead okay mark when you were talking about approval for your business we have to submit could you clarify that a little bit for me well if it's a website that you want to put up then we want to take a look at that you know before you publish it to the to on, online so if you if you have an idea for a website to promote your your business in VMA as an associate, then just let us take a look at it first to make sure because our our agreement with all associates is that we have a right of uh, written approval before you use a website that describes what the company is and what you know what what the opportunity is. Uh, Mark, aren't you saying that if they uh, develop a website on their own and do not use a replicated website. That's what you're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. If they develop but one think, on their own. Yeah. I think most people are going to use a, the replicated website. Okay. Good. And that's the key. Yeah that's, yeah. that's the key. If you don't, if you don't do that, then, then we need to see it so that we can understand why you're, you're using something right. that's not replicated. Right. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to cut the questioning short because we're running overtime and we still got more on the program. Uh, Mark, we certainly appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing that knowledge with us. And we appreciate okay. you being the uh, compliance officer for us. And okay. uh, with everything that we got set up with you and Kevin, uh, we don't have anything to worry about because we're going to police it and uh, we're not going to have any regulatory uh, problems. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is good stuff tonight. It really is. Okay. Our next speaker. Oh, my goodness. What a picture. Derek showed us a picture of this man. And it's just the likeness was just absolutely incredible. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> It does give me great pleasure to introduce the Minuteman himself, 
Mr. Heavy under Mr. Dave Mead. <laughs> yeah, th <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> <I> appreciate it. <laughs> now, oh, both of you. <laughs> hey, I just want to say we'll keep this really short, guys. I just want to say that uh, I want to thank Dr. Jim for his uh uh, bringing on Jason and Mark, uh, two incredible individuals that really strengthen the company for long term and longevity, uh, which in turn uh, strengthens our uh, our careers and our income at the same time. So we really greatly appreciate and what knowledge they shared. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mark and and uh, Roger. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, I tell you, I've got some notes here. I'm going to read this real quickly because we are running way late. But uh, back several months ago, when we uh, were marketing and doing the PEB memberships, uh, we announced a contest. <clears throat> and uh, tonight we're going to uh, <clears throat> announce the winners. It was the, uh, for the top three people that sold the most and or uh, <clears throat> purchased the most PEB memberships. Uh, we will announce these winners right now. It's the President's Executive Board or PEB. And winners are... First place winner is Carol Salisbury. Welcome, Yay. Carol. Yay. Carol. Congratulations. Awesome. Carol. Did, Yay. Carol did an incredible job and, and kind of left everybody in the dust. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> she did fantastic. And uh, so, so for her, here's what she wins uh, she wins a PEB membership. Okay, uh, another one, another membership. Congratulations, Carol. Along with a beautiful Vima hooded sweatshirt, a Vima long sleeve t shirt, and a Vima short sleeve t shirt. Congratulations, Carol. Awesome job, as always. Okay, second place, guys. Second place winner is our very own. I'm not going to say anything. I'll pay him back later for that one minute thing. But our very own super support rep, Derek White. Derek, Yay. congratulations, buddy. Hey, congratulations, he man. He, he worked hard just like Carol. And so, Derek, his, Derek, you receive a pet membership along with a Vima hooded sweatshirt and a T-shirt. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Now, for Derek, our third Derek, place Derek. winner. Our third place winner is our very own Canadian King, Mr. Leroy Hoon. Yes. Leroy, congratulations, buddy. Yes. 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 Yeah, Leroy. Yeah. Yeah, Leroy. Thank you very much. Thank Good you very job. much. You deserve it, buddy. Very welcome. And uh, Le Leroy sees up another yes. pet membership along with a beautiful Vima hooded sweatshirt that's going to help keep you warm, buddy, in that Canadian weather, brother. <laughs> so congratulations, <laughs> man. Now uh, I'm gonna run through. I yeah, that was awesome. Would get a short sleeve. Uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so our updates now. Uh, okay, we have now in the academy, guys, the complete AI getting started videos. There are 12 short videos. You asked for it, we got it. Cheryl Coco came through. She did uh, in small segments, I think three to five minutes. So you can just go through one to the next and understand it. So 12 short videos that will help you get started marketing Vima. And I encourage everyone, guys, to get your free AI system. And it's going to help you in, in all your recruiting efforts. Uh, it's already completely customized with the Vima brand. And again, it's a major income stream that we all share in. So now the first two months are completely on us. We offer 40 web clicks each month to offset the $39.95 in investment that starts in that third month. So with the 40 web clicks, in essence, it's free. You can't beat it. It's a fantastic uh, uh, income stream for us, and, and it's a, just a great system. So, guys, you start in, you know, in your spare time, spend three to five minutes and just knock out these videos and understand what you have, and, and, and then you can put your marketing on autopilot with it. So it's a great uh, product. Now we have a, a brand new marketing video, guys, that our own Barry Eschenberg uh, did, and, and, and he does fantastic videos, guys. And he makes them so clear. He's got that great voice, and he, he, he knocks them out in, you know, three to five to nine minutes or whatever. But uh, he has a video to help recruit local advertisers. So if you want to go to any local uh, business owner, you can uh, you know show them this uh, three-minute video, and it's designed just like our affiliate marketing video to capture the interest 
and hear more. So it's designed to get their attention. You get someone to watch these videos, guys, you got them. They want more information. So to access these awesome videos on the directory, click on the Academy link, then click on the enter vault image. And on the categories drop down, you'll see multiple training links on that page. Here you will see and look for advertiser training. That's the video, the advertiser video and the AI system training. So you'll see, I think 12 with the AI system and there's other uh, trainings in there too. You know, guys, we have everything. We said we're going to have these trainings for you guys. We don't want anyone to be left behind. We're going to walk everybody through. If you're brand new, you're not, a, uh, you know, don't look at yourself as a business person. Well, you're going to end up being one. Um, I won't say whether you like it or not, but if you want to recruit, you want to get involved, guys, uh, we've got your back. We're going to help you. Any questions, we help you. Uh, communication is key. So I'm working also on finalizing several outside income streams. So within two weeks, you see, should see in our marketplace a link to business tools. We will have some awesome looking Vima business cards and recruiting drop cards. So, and, and we'll, we'll talk about, uh, you know, how to use these cards. Uh, I think it's a great way to use in the cards with, with uh, either the uh, tax uh, recruiting uh, booklets that we have and we talked about last week uh, and, and, and the t-shirts and the apparel, you, you wear that, somebody asks you a question, you, you have your business card or a drop card. So guys, we'll be also adding brochures, flyers and things like that uh, later. So that's about it for me. Uh, Andy, anything to add, buddy? Uh, the only thing I've got is that Tommy has done a tremendous job working with the uh, credit card processor, and uh, he's jumped through quite a few hoops of things that uh, they wanted him to do, and he got uh, everything settled today. Uh, he got a certification also on uh, security. Awesome. And they are reviewing everything and and two business days, uh, we'll know if, if they're going to continue. So, uh, that's looking real good. Awesome. And, and, and Andy, one thing I forgot to say, uh, I also wanted to thank, uh, not only Tommy, but uh, James, his brother, James, uh, James Knight, he did an incredible job in getting these videos in the back office and, and uh, just a lot of work. And we, we've got such great uh, people working for us, man. These guys are just totally 100 percent dedicated, focused on making Vima the uh, household name and the, the largest company out, uh, on the planet. That's what our, our goal is. And let's make it happen, guys. I'm done. Absolutely. OK, sounds great. Wonderful. And what a meeting. What yeah. I mean, thank you to everyone. Okay. Just, you know what? Enjoy life. Enjoy making money every single day and let, let everybody and their brother know about it. That's the key. We, we, we owe it to people. It doesn't cost them anything. Let them know about it. Let them take any level they want. It's just a shopper, a business builder, an advertiser. It's up to them. We have it all. Vima has it all. Cool. We'll see y'all in a week. Okay. God bless okay. everyone. Have a great night. God, God bless you guys. Awesome. Thank you guys.